Grandson David Apochi. Okay, so go ahead and share your wonderful testimony as a family. Yeah, it happened that exactly a month ago, uh, he, he had problems with his stomach. We we couldn't really diagnose it, and the two legs were always hurting and very painful, and he would be reading in pain. So, we took him to the health center, which was the first place we visited, because there was a doctor there, and uh, there was no relief after three days. We took him back for review, still no relief. We asked for a referral letter, so that he can advance the treatment. So, we went to Liberty Medical Center, where he was treated for five days and discharged. After getting home, the whole night we were sleepless. By the morning again, the whole thing started all over. And for the whole month, he hardly ate. He would say he's not hungry. He's not hungry. He's demarcated so much. By the time we got back to Liberty, he was readmitted in Liberty. So by the time we got to Liberty, um, the man did everything he could and said, is sorry we may need to go to uch so when we got there they ran battery of tests the receipts are all here they are all for uch and this is their card for uch after visiting the first two hospitals without any effect so when all these tests were carried out they said it was malingering what does it mean to Malinga now? They said uh, it's like the boy is uh, wanting something from us and can't tell us and is going some corner way. <laughs> you are talking of malingering. This thing has cost us over 400000 within the one month. You are saying it's malingering. All those injections and things that were pumped into him is it possible for somebody to malinger that way? So at UCH, they ran this um, group of x-rays, which were examined. They still could not find anything. So our grandma with us here came to visit that Wednesday morning. I was even in the kitchen trying to clean up all the things that were used in uh, serving him when he was in the hospital. By the time I got in, I said, ah, Grandma, you are here, and we didn't even know. She now, we, we got talking, and she now mentioned somebody went to a, a, a Pastor Adetuberu at a, a, a Lalubosa Junction, and that the person received mighty healing. I said, please, do you know I listen to Mommy always every Sunday, 3 o'clock, at a Fresh FM, and in the mornings, when she does the morning jingle, I always listen to the five minutes ministration. I said, ah, but it just didn't occur to me that, ah, I said, oh God, and we have wasted so much time, money, everything, and strength. To cut a long story short, we came here that Wednesday, but we came very late. By the time we came to get on the healing line, I was even so happy that we met the healing line. He said, no, you can't join. 
you didn't bring anything to show us that what you are saying is, tr is true. Ah, I said, God, in my hurry, I didn't remember. I begged them. They said, there is a rule here. And I stopped. So we sat there. All of a sudden, the pain thing on the tummy hit him. And he started shouting, ha, 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 ha. By the time he shouted, the ushers came around and said, Madam, control your son. I said, that is why I'm here. I'm not able to control him. Once the thing hits him like that, he will shout and shout and shout until he regains himself. And the same thing depends on the legs. Then I said, okay, maybe they will move me to the front. They will move us to the front there so that it will be easy to reach the man of God. By the time he came out, my son just raised up his hand and said, my father, please minister to me. I know your Jesus will heal me. I'm sure I will not go back the same. So the man of God looked in his direction and told him, okay, I'm coming. He finished the ministration to a woman at this corner. He now went there and asked him, what did you say was the problem? He said his stomach, that something troubles sharp pain and the ulcer is not able to eat and the legs have pains. He told the man of God like that. So he just put his hand and wipe everything down. The arms wipe everything off. And he told him, get up. What can't you do? He said he couldn't walk. He said, oh yeah, move. Immediately he moved from him, he went to minister to somebody else. And Anusha said, what else can't you do? He said he, he, he cannot jump. He started jumping. What can't you do? Another usher said, he said he cannot run. The usher made him run from this end to the end of the parking lot there. And he ran back. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Immediately he came back. He said, Grandma, I'm very hungry. In one month. For the first time, he said, I'm very hungry. I said, don't worry. I'll take you to the canopy when you finish testifying of the goodness of God. I now took him there, bought some snacks for him, which was according to his taste and minerals. He now, he took everything and we started going. He now said, Grandma, oh, I cannot, I cannot go. I'm feeling too sleepy. He, he hardly sleeps, both day and night. He said, I'm feeling very sleepy. Ah, I cannot walk. I said, I can't carry you. You are a big boy. You are as tall as I am. <laughs> so, so finally, we decided to go to my daughter at uh, Challenge Urita to stay for the night because we came all the way from the interior. <laughs> so I said, we can't go back that far this night. So we now pass the night at my daughter's place. That is his testimony. Jam your hands together for Jesus. My name is David Apochi. I came here with serious and severe pain in my stomach and my legs. Hmm. And it made, me, it made it difficult for me to walk. Hmm. And hard to eat. Okay. So when when you were when did this pain start precisely? It started about a month ago. About a month ago, and you've not been eating well. No. You've not been able to walk well. And I've not even been able to go to school. You've not been able to go to school. This will be four weeks now that I've not been able to go to school. Wow. So, can you tell us when you came here on the mount on this mountain? What is that faith that you had that made you to call on the man of God? Because remember you calling on the man of God on Wednesday. Why did you do that? Because I knew that if I called him. He will dance and you he will heal me. Wow. Jam your hands together for Jesus. What a great faith in a young man, a young boy. Sorry, can you tell us how old are you? I'm 11 years old. Wow. That's a great faith, truly, for an 11 year old boy. Wow. When we arrived, we were not allowed to go on the healing line mm. because we didn't bring evidence that I was sick. Okay. So, 
so we were put in the crowd okay suddenly the pain hit me mm. and i couldn't bear it i started shouting mm. then the ushers came and told my grandma that she should control me mm. and she said that this is our problem now <laughs> that this is why we came mm. and you guys didn't allow us <laughs> so they said don't worry that we should come to the front of the crowd there. So, as soon as the man of God came out, I said, my father, please help me. I've been out of school for four weeks because of severe pain in my stomach and my legs. Please heal me. I know you can heal me. Your Jesus will heal me. Jam your hands together for Jesus. We have learned a great lesson from a young boy of 11 years old. Mm. Wow. Glaucoma. I feel pain in my legs and my stomach for four weeks now. No. They didn't say anything. They didn't see anything. No. Gra mommy, are you? Um, is mommy? Yes. The grandmother. What did the doctor say, man? They are not able to determine is the Jesus. cause. We left CCH last night. They discharged him after several tests. They he are said not able no to discharge And he cannot walk? He, he, he hardly walks well. And what else can he not do? His stomach hardly eats. In the name of Jesus Christ, you devil, come out of him. You spirit of infirmity, out. You pain, go back out of this body in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Stand up. Check yourself now. Come, come, come to me. Come to me. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. I feel good now. Somebody clap for Holy Ghost. It's okay now. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody that just came from UCA. I'm healed, I'm healed. I'm healed. Now that's the power of God. How do you feel now? Somebody clap for the Holy Ghost. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, Thank and you, forever. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now that's God. How many of you know that that is God? That's how he acts. No, he, he couldn't. He couldn't even sit. Yes. See grandma talking with him. They said they discharged him from UCH. How uniform. many seconds? Thank you, Jesus. A second. So the man of God answered you. Yes. And when and he answered when you, he finished, when he finished attending to the person he was ministering to, he came over to me and touched my arms and rubbed everything down. I touched my stomach and rubbed it down. Suddenly, something cool came over my body mm. and the pain left me. Jam your hands together for the miracle working God. The great healer, Jesus Christ. Something cool, like a cool breeze yes. went down your body. And the pain left yes. immediately. Yes. And after that, what happened? He told me to. He asked me what I couldn't do. I said I couldn't walk. Mm. He told me to get up and walk. Mm. I got up and walked over to him. Mm. And walked over to an usher. Wow. He continued his ministrations to others. The usher told me that the devil is a cunning devil, that he will try to attack me again. But I have to think positive mm. and not atta allow him to attack me. Mm. And asked me what else I couldn't do. I said I couldn't jump. He told me to jump. I started jumping. 
Another usher said that I should try to run. I ran from this end of the parking lot to the other end mm. and ran back. That is my test. And after, jam your hands together. Wow. What a sharp and brilliant boy. The devil is a bad devil. So, sir, after you did all those things that you were not able to do before, how did you feel in your body? I felt very hungry. Very hungry. For, for some the first time got, in a month. For the first time in a month. Wow. And you ate very well. Yes. And after it, you started feeling very sleepy. Yes. <laughs> Jam your hands together for Jesus. So, you ate, you slept. For one month, too, you've not been sleeping well. No. Wow. And ever since then, after going home, how have you been feeling? Very okay. Very okay. Jam your hands together for Jesus. What a wonderful God we serve on this mountain. I know you have experienced a lot. You know that the Jesus that we serve on this mountain, Jesus is a healer. You know now that Jesus is a healer. For the past one month that you've not been going to school, I believe you've missed a lot in school and everything. And your grandparents have spent a lot of money. When you came here, how much did you spend? Nothing. Nothing. Not one cover. Not one cover. I love the way he answers questions. Wow, what a brilliant, intelligent boy. Grandma has some drugs with her. I believe these are the loads of drugs you've been using for the past one month. Yes, they are. Huh. Were they even working for you? Little to no little to no work. Little to no work. Wow. What a brilliant and intelligent boy. In short, he was just taking pills to no avail. He just kept popping pills. Little to no work. The pain may relieve him for five seconds. The next thing is back. Yes. Hmm. Those are the drugs that he's been using for the past one month. Wow, that is a lot. He's stayed in the hospital for some time. Yes. And doctors have performed so many tests and so many examinations on you. They discovered that you have, there's nothing wrong. They said they couldn't find anything. Nothing. And they accused me of malingering. Maling. <laughs> he said they accused him of malingering. <laughs> And are you actually malingering? No. No. Would I not have run mad from all the injections and <laughs> that they have been giving me? I've been now. Wow. You would have. Uh, uh, how will you be malingering and be waiting there and be taking injection, taking, taking pills just like that for one month and missing school when the devil has done his own and the doctors have found a lot of solution but no avail. They will call it a name. They must call it a name. They will never carry last. So, <laughs> we thank God for your healing. Ah, that is a lot of drugs. So. My brother. He has even finished some. Totally. Wow. He has finished some. Ha. Three different forms of IV. Six hours. Six hours leaves. Yes. Three different forms of IV, six hourly. Yes. He has really taken a lot into his system. A lot. And a lot. yet to no avail. No avail. Wow. Aren't you surprised that God, Jesus, can take away that thing that is your problem in a twinkling of an eye? Aren't you surprised? More than surprised. Wow. Flabbergasted will do it. Wow. <laughs> Jam your hands together for Jesus. Wonderful. 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 My brother. What can you say about the God you have experienced? Daddy too will talk. I know Daddy has a lot to say, to say. What can you say about the God you have experienced on this mountain? He's a very mighty God. Hmm. And you have to have serious faith in Him if you know you want to be healed. Hmm. And I advise others that they should come to this mountain to get their healing. Hey! This is one of the most powerful churches I've hey. ever heard of. Wow! 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 That's great! He said, this is one of the most powerful churches I've ever heard of. That is our brother when in pain. That is that is showing it to us on his phone. See on his on his on his um, sickness bed on his bed in the hospital or his bed at home. Wriggling in pain. Wow. Wow. He 
they advise us that if you have not come here, you better come here. Oh. Then we serve a mighty God here. This is one of the most powerful churches he has ever heard of. Wow. Hmm. My brother, what was happening to you when this was daddy was taking this shot? Serious pain in the legs. Serious pain in the legs. Can you tell us how did this start in the first place? I just woke up one morning and the pain, I met the pain there. You just woke up. Goes to show that when men slept, the enemy comes. It is when doctors find nothing, it goes to show that it's the enemy that has planted something. And but we serve a God on this mountain <laughs> that can take away the hand of the enemy in one second by one touch. Jump your hands together for Jesus. Wow, what is that thing that, that, that you have brought to this mountain today? Don't worry, be rest assured. God is in charge here yeah, and he will take away the hand of the devil in Jesus name before daddy talks can you demonstrate to us how you now walk how you now jump wow were you able to walk that fast before before the man of God prayed for you oh not knowing the cause of the sickness hmm but now how do you feel sincerely in your body? I feel very okay in my body. You feel very okay in yes. your body. And you've been eating constantly since Wednesday. Yes. You've been eating very well. Grandma has yes. been eating well. And you've been sleeping well. Yes. Jam your hands together for Jesus. I'm sure you are ready to go back to school now. And everything you have missed, God will cover it up for you. Yes. In Jesus' name. Mount Zion. Land of deliverance and holiness. Well, Apochi is my name. Andrew Apochi is my name. I was one time a uh, newscaster at Galaxy Television here. Yeah. Okay. okay, I wrote it by the... Wow. Then my hair was still black. <laughs> um, it has been a very great ordeal for us in the family. When this thing started... It, it was very devastating very devastating very painful uh, they have said it all all I can say is that right from the beginning I knew it was a spiritual problem and one thing I have always known is that spiritual problems don't yield to medical treatment no matter how much you try you can spend all you have in the world but until you give uh, the right treatment to a particular thing nothing will change um, we can learn from the woman with the issue of blood in the bible who spent everything she had and still everything worsened and until she met Jesus personally and that's exactly what happened to our grandson here and to even substantiate thank you to even substantiate that fact there was a particular day it was writhing in pain, you know, and uh, I was simply shattered. And as I was uh, rubbing the legs and all that, he said, Grandpa, look at that, look at that. I said, what is that? He said, can't you see that figure standing there? I, I said, I can't see. He says, standing there looking at me. Uh -huh. I said, okay, watch as I deal with it. I began to plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. Suddenly, I asked him, what has happened? He said it had disappeared. Then Jam I knew. your hands together for Jesus. Goes to show it's a spiritual problem. Exactly. Just to show it was a spiritual problem. And uh, on that particular Wednesday, in spite of all the treatment that were, uh, the treatments that were given to him at the various hospitals, including uh, UCH, where we were told he was malingering, um, he was still in pain and Fortunately, a family friend, uh, our grandma here is, is in the congregation, uh, came to our house and said, don't you think this is a spiritual problem? We've got to do something about it. And I didn't know where we would go until she suggested, why not come here? And uh, my wife took him here. While they came, I was still very anxious at home, uh, wondering uh, how far they would go, whether they would even meet the meeting at all. But later when I called, I was told that uh, it was okay. Ah, 
I was I was very shocked. So I called. I called. I, let me let me speak with David. David, how are you? He said, I'm fine. The voice had changed, and I was very very surprised. And I said, Indeed, there must be God in that particular church. Turn your hands together for Jesus. Wow, indeed. Indeed, there is God on this mountain. So that is ever since then, God has been God has touched David and he's been fine. He has been fine. In fact, my son, his uncle, phoned from Worry yesterday and said, What about David? I said he has just experienced Bible type miracle. And he's been fine since that time till now. Wow. David has experienced Bible type miracle. Truly, he experienced Jesus. And just like the woman with the issue of blood touched the hem of Jesus' garments, truly, through the man of God, and God touched him back. God touched him back, and ever since then, he's been fine. Daddy, can you give us a word of advice? And you have heard and seen in the life of your son. Can you give us a word of advice from what you have seen? Well, all I can say is that spiritual problems don't yield to medical treatment. Mm. So why waste your time? Um, well, you can go to hospitals and try to find out exactly what the diagnosis is saying. But ultimately, you have to go to God. Because all solutions lie in the hand of God. Somebody clap for Jesus. Say Jesus. Somebody clap for Jesus. You see, the brother, the way he, he called out, you know he has faith. He said, please, I've not been able to go to school for, for, for a month now. This, this. And I said, oh, 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 please, stand up and walk. All power belongs to God. All power in heaven and earth. Belong to what? No. Jesus. Say that name. Jesus. Jesus. So it's not about it's not about a, a, a one prophet or one pastor. No, it's about Jesus. You know the um, the, the, the pastor has come. No, the, no, no, no. The, everything is available in the name of what? Of Jesus. Everything. Say everything. everything. Healing. Healing. Deliverance. Deliverance. Uh, prosperity. Safety, Safety. Everything, everything is in the name of who? Jesus. In the name of who? Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Thank you very much for coming to share your beautiful testimony. As a family, we celebrate with you, we rejoice with you, we pray it shall be permanent in Jesus' name. What God has started to do in the life of David, God will make it permanent in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, sir and ma, and our humble brother, David. Thank you very much. Prophet G.F. Adichuben, anointed by God with the Holy Spirit, ready for action, is helping people and healing everyone who was beaten down by the devil. He is able to do all this because God is with him. Please subscribe, follow and like our pages on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. God bless you. It is well, so well, with your soul.